Hello friends, welcome back. Today we're going to be accessing nested arrays. As we have seen in earlier examples, objects can contain both nested objects and nested arrays. Similar to accessing nested objects, array bracket notation can be changed to access nested arrays. Here's an example of how to access a nested array. We here have an array, which go, makes up here, and in it we have two objects, one and two, right? Um, in it we have animal type and the names of different cats. So we've got the cat type and then we've got the dog type with uh, dog names in there. If we go to our pets, which means this object, at position zero, which is here, the first position, and then the names element, we're going to get, well, after the names, we need to put in one. So this is zero and then this is one. And so we get Fluffy. Fluffy's here and then we've got spot. Our pets is equal to the element at number one, which is here, the second element, dot names, which is here, and then at names is at zero, so spot. And so our answer is spot, and that's what we get. What we want to do here is retrieve the second tree from the variable my plants. So there's two plants, flower and trees, and using object dot and array uh, bracket notation, receive this, retrieve the second tree from the variable. Okay, so these are the flowers. We've got the first flower, second flower, third flower. This is the trees. We have the first, second, and third tree. And what we're trying to find is the second tree. So the second tree is pine. So we want our answer to be pine here. Equal, second tree should equal pine. So if we set the second tree equal to, well, let's say right now, um, I want to just add a console.log here and then add the second uh, tree. And so right now what we're doing is printing out what is here. Now obviously we don't just want an empty string, we want it to be an element from my plants. And so when we do that we see that it's object and an object. So there's two. So we've got this guy and this guy. So we're starting to be in the right spot. Um, now here we want to just add a uh, bracket notation and just say we want to go to the second one because we know we're looking for trees. So with my plants, you could go type one, and then you get trees. Um, so you're, now we're in the trees thing, but we want to get the list, right? So we're going to change this guy to dot list. And now this should give us a, a list, so this array for pine birch. But this is great, it does give us pine, but we only want it to answer just pine. And so we know this is at element zero, and this is at element one. So we can go list, and then say element one. And then we get just pine. And so, um, yeah, I think if we, were to if we were to do zero, it would be fir, and if we were to do two, it would be birch. But we're looking for pine. And so if we were to do, if we were trying to find um, the second rows, we could just do a zero here, and then we're getting the flower types. But we want the trees and the pine. So it should work now. If we run the tests, I think they'll pass. Cool. I hope this was helpful for you guys. We'll see you in the next lesson.